I vanquished you know who nearly died a thousand times, and now that it comes time for you know what, <laughs> I've never been so terrified of anything in my life. I'm finally going to cast my Patronus into your room of requirements. I am afraid it might be feeble in the face of hooded fears that want to suck the life from my lips, bursting only smoke and not a brilliant stag. I am the boy who lived. My only trees in love against those deathly hands I can't help but feel allegorical. No, apocryphal. Everyone stares at my scar, but you, you look past it. See that my heart isn't shaped like a lightning bolt, but a unicorn. <laughs> Tonight, when you whispered in my ear, your hair, a femme fatale. Place we can never go on page. I know what comes next is destined. It's been written that we will have many kids and give them long-ass hipster names with too many hyphens. <laughs> but between word and afterward, I know not what to feel. Because I can only love you within the MPAA guidelines for a PG-13 film. I have been written only to kiss, never to lust except in abstract, and even that film? It's merely an adaptation of my soul, grafting special effects to my skin. Plastic surgery makes my themes gleam for the modern audience. They've applied liposuction to my metaphors, reducing my curves till I am pretty. No more myself than Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> am I crazy? Sinking so far into my own text that I forget to be human. You asked me why I love you. Honestly, it just feels like a plot device. I'm sorry. There is no textual basis for what happens next. The wrinkles in your crimson robe upon the floor, a place we can never go on page. The writer, the director have left the room, but I can't help but feel like someone is reading from a memorized slam poem somewhere and their voice subsumes mine. Because though I vanquished you know who, I know not who knows me, nor who am I.